Well, we are in Jupiter, Florida, and it is shark week. So while everyone else is home watching the sharks, we decided to go play with them. So we're gonna go play with sharks. I've never been on a shark dive, so I'm super excited. I got to go on a shark dive probably three weeks ago, and there's a bunch of sharks just everywhere. Goliath grouper, and they're just like this prehistoric fish, and you swim right up to them, and they kind of look at you and are just curious to see what you are, and they're just huge, huge fish. So I'm really excited to go. <laughs> dove with sharks a lot, but this is like for a shark dive, this is my second. And comparatively, this one was so much more awesome. The sharks were just like more in your face. They were bumping into you. They weren't aggressive, but like, you know, they'd run into you, maybe knock Bree's mask off her face. <laughs> I absolutely love sharks. I've been obsessed with sharks ever since I was a little kid. Weird, I know, but so this dive specifically was a shark dive and there's so many, they're just everywhere. They're just encircling us and they were just coming right over my head. There's some that have bumped me. Um, there's one that bumped me so hard on the third dive that it took my uh, hood off. So I was just ecstatic. I was like, this is, this is exactly where I want to be. They weren't yeah, aggressive, they were just curious. They're just curious, they're like big puppies. And you know, they're not gonna avoid you and move out of the way. They're just gonna maybe run into you and then, oh my bad. You know, they get a bad rap because Hollywood needs a, vi a villain, to be honest with you. They need something that looks scary and sharks play the part and really they're the keepers of the ocean and they clean up the ocean. So instead of being scared of them, we should treat them with some respect. So, <laughs> I had a little stick with my GoPro on it because you know, I would like to have something in between just in case they got a little hungry. So I had my GoPro up and I was I was going at this shark and all of a sudden he like opens his mouth and chomps on my GoPro. And I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> I look at my GoPro, it wasn't turned on. Like, I didn't even have again? it turned on. Uh, so I missed it. So my favorite part about this dive was seeing the giant goliath grouper. So not only were we just playing with sharks, we were also playing with goliaths and seeing some of the shipwrecks also, there's huge goliath grouper inside their wrecks. So that's one of my favorite parts is actually seeing those up to close and personal and just kind of seeing them in their natural habitat. They were almost the same size as the sharks. But the biggest of the goliaths, um, they take the shipwreck and they kind of like call it their home. Mm -hmm. and. You'll find the biggest ones living inside. So when we peeked over, it was massive. I don't even know how it fit through the opening, but it was probably a thousand pounds. I don't know, but it, it was, was massive. You see, of course, pictures of sharks and up close, but until you're actually in the water and like there's tons of huge sharks swimming around you, it was an amazing experience. Like I would absolutely do this again. Oh, heck yeah, I, I, in a heartbeat. I'm Brie Andersi and today we're in the Bahamas and we're gonna be doing a scuba diving trip. So right now we're at Stewart Cove. I'm super excited. I've never been able to dive the Bahamas and it's been on my bucket list for a while. We're going to a few wrecks and some of those wrecks happen to be in the James Bond movies. I'm sure we're gonna see some really cool things so I'm excited to get out there and see what we find.
My name is Andreas Franke. I'm a photographer. I come from Vienna, and what I love is the sea. I have an art exhibition, and this is the pre-show. And tomorrow, we will see this underwater for the next three months on the Vandenberg, the second largest artificial reef. We're gonna go dive on the Vandenberg, which is a ship that's been sunk as an artificial reef, just a few miles off the coast. We're gonna put 24 of these on, on the ship. They're gonna sit down there for a number of time, and actually coral will grow on the surface of these. Then we'll bring them back up and have a reveal party, and they will actually be sold to people with the coral that had grown on it but we're trying to draw awareness and so many people from around the world to come to dive this just to see this artwork and then hopefully they get the knowledge of how much plastic we pull out of the ocean. I'm not the biggest fan of sharks, meaning they actually are my greatest fears. I want to experience it, but I'm also really terrified.
I'm Cheyenne, Team Salt Life member, and we're here in Roatan, Honduras today. We're at West Bay Divers, about to head out free diving. This is my second time in Roatan, and it'll be my second time diving with the crew. We're gonna be heading out to one of the largest barrier reefs in the world. It is a protected reef, so there's a lot of life and a lot of beautiful corals on it. Excited for Ryder to see? Yeah, super excited. It's my first time here. Really excited to see what the day brings. 